G'day guys, welcome back. I've got something special for you today. My daughter Christy's here, right there. She's gonna do a pour for you. <laughs> now she had this brilliant idea um, of what to do with some blobs because I was showing her my blob art and she said, oh, wouldn't it be great if, and um, yeah, so we're gonna to get to that. But first of all, she's gonna paint the background. Uh, and she thought she would like to do a beach scene. So sand up here and then water. So darker at the top, getting lighter and lighter and then some white in between. We're going to put some silicone oil in the paint so we can get a few cells just to add to that sort of frothy ocean kind of a, a look, okay? Uh, so pouring medium for the swipes is... The usual 60% glue, 40% water. But instead of mixing it one to one, we're mixing it one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. These are all Montmartre paints. Uh, just, what's that? Phthalo blue, cerulean blue, turquoise, and this one's yellow ochre. You okay with that color? Mm -hmm. I need to make it like more brown or anything? No? No. And some white. So, um, why don't you put in... Now, I have to show you a little trick with this. You have to open the nozzle and you have to really carefully, and we're just going to do it here. Don't squeeze it, just hold it because it drips out. All right? So don't squeeze it, otherwise, you get like 20 drops. So just put two drops in each color. It just falls out really easily, does it? Yeah. I hate people that actually squeeze it. <laughs> you get so much oil in there. Uh oh. That's okay. That's it. Now give them a good stir. <clears throat> so Christy's going to do a swipe. So we've got cards. This is great. I don't have to stir. Woohoo! She says, she says to me, how do you do this all day, Mum? I've got a sore hand. I'm mixing. Yeah, you done four colours and she was <laughs> over it already. So, yeah. I get, I get a bruise in the middle there where the, the stick hits me and I get, I get a sore hand. So we're using two different size cards to swipe with. These are just paint chip sample cards. So when she's laid her colours, tilted, um, she'll just go with the edge of the card, just like in a wavy sort of a pattern with the bigger one. And then she may want to use the smaller one sort of to go over the top. So whatever she feels like doing really. Um, and then we'll see see what happens. I better get some gloves on too, hey. So it's Easter next weekend. And then Christy's come up for two weeks to visit with um, over Christmas with her bird. Uh, Easter. Are you going to show everyone this, are we? Oh. You guys have heard this bird. He's scared of the glove. He doesn't like the glove. I'm sure you guys have heard this bird screech many times. <laughs> Oops, no, he's off. Come, Zari. It's okay. okay. There you go. Oops, no. He's landing on me now. It's okay, buddy. So, yeah, probably heard him in, heard him in videos. He thinks I'm going to put him somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. So, have, are these all stirred now? Yeah. All right. So let's get them out of the way. Do you want to start with your blue or do you want to start with your sand? Let's start with the blue. Okay, so we'll just move all these out of the way so that we don't knock them. And we don't know how much we're going to need at the moment. So maybe just pour on um, a little bit there, a little bit there. So mainly there, thicker, mm -hmm. and then it sort of drizzles down. You just got to remember that the sand's going from here. Let's put a little mark on. Sand's going to go from about there to about there, hey. So you just got to make sure that you don't roughly, that's what I do anyway, is um, just make sure that you don't put too much blue on. Like that. Yeah, and you've stirred them all, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't watching. That's it. And probably mm -hmm. a little bit more dark blue over the top up here. Right up at the edge, yeah, because that'll fall over and, and coat the side there. So that's good. So darker, thicker amount there, and then your next colour. So you leave a little gap of the dark blue and then start your lighter blue a little bit further down. Yep. Yeah, and zigzag that down. Yep, and then <laughs> you want to drip in your sand, hey? <laughs> 
So I don't know whether you want your sand there. I mean, you can just put it wherever, sort of like that. But, you know, they'll all blend together. And then her turquoise. Like here-ish? Yeah, leave, leave a little gap and then start down there. Yeah, because it's not going to be as much of it. We don't, and we need to stop like about there. Hey? So that's about it. Yep. Um, and then the, the sand. <clears throat> we got the one shade of sand, but we'll put some white further in here at the top to kind of lighten it a little bit. So you can put some more across the edge here so it'll fall over the edge when we tilt. And if we need more paint, then we can add more paint. Just move the cards out of the way. Okay, so now what we need to do is just move those out of the way there. Might need a little bit more of that turquoise just through there, Christy. It's because it's quite blank there. All right, we'll see how we go. If we need more paint, we can add more paint. So the first thing to do is just pick up the side here and basically let the paint run over. So that area there is going to run a little bit faster, so you may want to sort of tip it. But just got to make sure... Oh! Uh-oh! Yeah, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> These people on YouTube know the fight I have with flies. <laughs> okay, so basically you're just going to pick up the canvas and move it around so that it's all covered, trying to keep the sand away. Well, you know, you don't want your sand yeah. sort of looping into your blues like that. So just have fun with it. Try and coat everything. And if you need a little bit more paint, we can add more paint. That's it. So what I try to do is always keep two feet on the oh, like on the ground. Rather than just yeah. go crazy. And then you can pick up from this side here. So you always got two feet or one foot on the ground and you can tilt like that. If you think you need some more blue, you can put some more darker blue in there if you, if you need some. Do you want me to do the first one and then you can go, or do you want to just go for it? I'll just go for it. Okay. So just a light touch. You're not going to push like, down. Yeah. Yeah. And just, just sort of do move. a wave. Yeah. Okay. Just go nice and slow. Don't go too fast. Ooh. That's okay. it. And then wipe that off. Beautiful. Make sure you clean that off. Let's move these cups out of the way. And then, oh look, you're getting cells already. Yeah. Look, you're getting cells. And like again, just like yeah. Now with thing. so that's really pretty up there, that dark area. That is. So you might want to grab one of your smaller ones next, yeah. and just start in the blue there, and then maybe just go through because you don't want to see. Oh yeah, and see like that. Leave that so leave that. You can sort of start there, just very lightly, and then sort of come up here and pick up this 
area here because you all want it to be blended hey and you can use your little card and your bigger card and whatever you like the look of the same there you can't leave that no. there but you might want to start from this edge okay you, it, you don't really want to start like that so start on an edge and then you can go right off the canvas that's it you don't have to go right across beautiful well done <laughs> Where do you want to go next? <clears throat> you just get really creative. If you want to add more white, I guess there's not that much white, you know, up in the in the deep water. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks as if you've got more white in the lower area there anyway. So with this one, you might want to use your smaller card and come this way. And bring some wine in. Yeah, and you can come up here, you can come back down here if you want to. You don't have to go straight following that line. I think it's nice to have a little bit of movement. Beautiful. Look how creative you are. <clears throat> Just be careful when you're touching the very edge. Mm -hmm. Don't put too much pressure on, otherwise, you'll get a, um, a like naked that. edge there. Yeah. But we can touch up the sides later anyway because we do need to fix this. Edge yeah. up here, don't we? Okay. <laughs> Look at decisions. Decisions, decisions. And just a really, really light touch. Don't put any pressure on. Because you're just skimming the colours over each other. And that's it. Beautiful. And then where these two join, I think we'll put a little bit more white in so that they can blend a little bit more like so you can always add more white if you want to later on you probably need more white here to to blend mm. that from that so you put more white into that as well there that was my beach as we first thought have we? <laughs> although you do want to have you did want to have a little bit of like wet sand look didn't you yeah yeah so and you can actually push that brown into the um beach uh, into the um talk that's it just to make that beach area a little bit bigger see how she's pushed the water back there just sells yep. beautiful now she's got it look at that beautiful blending and then of course no white on the bottom there because that's the the darker sand there And then with your little one, your little card, mm -hmm. if you wanted to, you could add. Uh, you, stop with that. you do. You need to finish that <laughs> off. But if you wanted to, you could put um, like a little bit more, like a little bit of white, just a drizzle there. And then with your your little one, you could just, just sort of do that, and you mm -hmm. can sort of stop there if you wanted to. You know, just to do little ones yeah and you sort of just fade it out um yeah so just whatever you want that sort of blends those two in just whatever you like it's no right or wrong in saying that Ooh. that's probably just yeah. a little bit too yeah so maybe take your, your smaller one and sort of you know wisp it up at the end there or something like that just to break Oh. Yeah, just to break up that mm. line. Don't start in the middle though. You can end in the middle, but don't start in the middle. Um. Beautiful. Now she's getting creative. Look at that. Now she's getting that 3D look happening. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, less is more. You can probably just yeah. you know, do a little bit through here. And this white probably needs to be blended a little bit. See, so there's a little bit of a smudge there. Oh gosh. <laughs> there's a blob. There's a blob there. All right, where's my tweezers? My blob. 
Yeah. So just remember that the more you swipe, the more your colours will blend and you might mm. lose your vibrancy of some of them. Now, do you like that like that? Oh, I like that. I like that. That's pretty. Not really like loving that how it just stops there because yeah. you can see that. Maybe it's, it. No, no, you do okay. it. No, no, you do it. I like that there. I'd probably come in through here uh -huh. and go up there and then maybe just take it down back there. Okay. Just with the little one because it just looks a bit weird how it just stops there so just pick it up and then come back down beautiful now are you happy with that do you yeah. want to do anything else no i like these little thin lines me too me too me. yeah you sure you don't want to do anything else happy with it yep you want to put more white on and, and sort of blend it a little bit more? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know? If you want to, you can. No, no, no. Oh, no, no I'll ruin it. Do you want more beach? No. Do you want to like push that back a little bit more or are you okay? No. Okay. We're going to torch. So once we torch, you I'm can't good. do it. I'm good. I'm going to use the blow torch. Are you going to do this? I'll turn it on and you can do it. Stuck. Oh, you have to excuse the noise outside. We've got a builder. Yeah, you're okay with that bit there? Don't want to put any more white on. I'm okay. We'll see how it goes. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly go over like that. Just lightly. Too close. Slightly okay. it's bringing up some cells. That's it. Keep moving, keep moving. And you can put as many or as few as you want. Just where it would be like the sea foam. Ah. Yep. You can try in here. So there's white underneath there. Yeah. So you probably get some more in there. Just don't get too close. You don't really know that you're too close until it's too late. Don't do any more there. No. Okay. A little bit more here. That's it. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Right, we have a little play. See how they're coming up? Oh, okay, so it works for you. No, well, I'm just getting a little, <laughs> I was just getting a little bit closer. So there we go. We have cells. If you think it's too much, we can swipe over them again. No, I like it. If you Cute. think that's too much there. But basically, um, that's that's it. Very nice. All done? Yep. Do you want to do anything else? I don't think so. I don't think so? All done. Radio. Looking great. We'll dry a little bit darker. Now she'll just um, work on her, her edges and we need to wait for this to dry and uh, we'll be back. It'll take a few days. Okay, guys, we are back. And Christy's painting is nice and dry. It hasn't changed at all, really, since we saw you last. So we've got the... We've got Two tubes of black paint. I don't think we'll need them both today. Uh, there you go, Christy. So, um, Christy has got two dogs, uh, Evie and Sugar, and uh, she comes up and visits me every, what, is it three weeks when Dad gets back? Yeah, roughly. And she brings the dogs, and her and the dogs love going to the beach and going for walks. And... What do dogs do on the beach? They go walking and they leave their little footprints. footprints. So Christy had this brilliant idea of doing paw prints on the beach. So we're just going to let her go for it, hey? And uh, do her blob. So she's going to do a layer of black first as opposed to white on the sand. I think, you know, she, well, she thought that black would look best first and then a layer of white and then a layer of black so I'm just gonna eat my chocolate brownie that I've just baked and uh, she can do that so I'll get over, out of the way yes, I think about that big hey hmm? 
about that size? I don't know. Bigger? Yeah. Or a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Yeah, I guess if you're a little bit bigger, then you've got room to put another colour on top. And then you just have to make sure that your dots are a little bit further away because they will grow. So they'll grow and the big blob will grow as well. So these are the claws, hey? Yeah. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that. Woohoo. We have one footprint. Where's mm -hmm. the next one going? Oh, yeah. So today is Wednesday. So these hopefully will be dry. Let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm hoping they'll be dry Saturday. And then we can do another layer Monday before she has to go back. Hoping. Because they're not such big blobs. Like when I do them, I do really big blobs and they take a long time. So maybe they'll even be dry after two days. We'll see. Just keep your nozzle down a little bit lower, then you won't get so much of a point. They're all about the same size, right? Yeah. Just take your time. There's no rush. People in YouTube land are used to watching like hour long movies. <laughs> Just keep your nozzle further down. See how that one blobbed up quite high? That's better. Yep, cool. Oh, that's looking so good. Doom, 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 doom. Where's the next one going? Just up here. Up there? So you're getting a bit of air in there now. Give it a yeah. bit of a shake to get the paint to go down. Or you can sit it in the little thingy there to keep the paint on an angle. Now if you've got a bubble, we'll pop it with a um, skewer. So if you need to change to another tube that's sitting over there upside down, we can do that if you think you're getting low. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to risk any air coming in. Oh, look at that. <gasps> There's a huge bubble on top. <laughs> hmm? What was that? I said there's a huge bubble on top. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll go through and um, pop them all with a skewer yeah. later on. If you're getting a lot of air in, we can swap over. Okay, let's grab the other one. So if you have to shake it, there's the lid. We'll pop this lid on. Just make sure there's some coming out before you start. Hello, Zari. You're going to be in the video? Zari's on Christy's shoulders. These are a bit tall. Yeah, they're a bit smaller than the others. That's the good thing about this. You can always add a little bit more, hey? Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. You happy with those? Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe the other one can come here a little bit more. Yeah. And then, and then yeah. sort of, yeah, down there a little bit just to change direction. So down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to have to go there now. It's okay. It's spreading out. So you've got a little bit of a difference in the height of them. Because he already got his paws wet further up there, hey, walking in the water. Yeah. But it's just shallows. <laughs> so they're all about the same size there. Oh, I'm not going to get too close to that one. Yeah, that's okay. Should be right. Yeah. It's a really nice thick mix, so it should stay nice and high. The first layer tends to, I found, um, thin out a little bit more. I don't know whether it's because it's on a canvas and maybe the canvas kind of like soaks up some of the liquid from it and flattens it out a little bit more. I don't know. But then when you do your subsequent layers on top, then they tend to sort of be more 3D. Oh, that is amazing. It leaves a tiny little peak on top, which is telling us it's a really nice thick mix. But then that little tip goes after a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. One more. One more. Room for one more. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. Just take your time. No rush. Beautiful. And the 
last one. Woohoo! Yeah. You're done! How cute's that? That is so <laughs> cute. Well done. Okay, and look at that. They're all pretty much the same size. You did good. So when you see a big bubble like that, mm -hmm. just pop it. No one needs a bit bigger, does it? They got bigger towards the end. Oh, did they? Yeah. No one probably needs a little bit more. Maybe it's up this end, though, so that doesn't spread onto the, the claws. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was a little bit wonky. That's all right. Uh, it's okay. We'll just flatten him over a little bit. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, so and it'll level out. See that big bubble there? Mm -hmm. Just, you know, rest your hand there without touching the paint and just pop. I can't do that on my hand. Yeah. Well, you can use your other hand. But see how it's left a little crater? <laughs> you just have to smooth the little crater over again yep. like that. So we'll do a couple and then um, we'll, we'll um, stop the video and... And then everyone can catch up with us in a few days for the next layer, which will be white. So these big ones are going to have white and then black, aren't they? Yeah. And the little ones are just going to have just black. Oh, white. Just white again, yeah, because they're a little bit small to be having um, more more layers than two. But it looks amazing. Well done. Christy's first blob painting. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm just going to take you down and show you. A close up as she's popping bubbles. There we go, look at that. Now they look good. And they're really quite high. Look at that. You can see the the height of them. Gotta get them off. Sorry, do you want to be in the... No, you might not. You might fly into the canvas, hey, if Christy tries to take you off. <laughs> All right. Yeah, as I said, looking good. And uh, we will be back in a few days. We are back, guys. It's been three days, hasn't it? And they are touch dry. I mean, if you had to push on that, it would make a dent. Or if you put a nail in it, it would certainly dig in. But for the sake of doing another coat, they are ready to go. Off you go, Christy. Woohoo! Let's keep that nozzle a bit lower, hey? Take your time. Take your time. And people don't mind waiting, do you, people? Cool. And just remember, they will spread a tiny bit. It's probably too big. The paint just kept coming out. Keep it in the middle. Don't swirl it around. Ah! Yeah, it's stuck coming out. No, we don't squeeze the little ones too much. I'm not squeezing them. I we, we can, them. Yeah, that's okay. We can go and fix that little bit up later on with a like a cotton wool bud. Yeah. We can get in there with a damp cotton wool bud. That'll get it. Yeah. Because they're so tiny, you hardly need to squeeze at all, really. That's good. We kept it in the middle that time. And maybe like push down as you're... Yeah. Push right down as you're letting go of the squeeze. That's better. Yeah. That's got it. So once you've squeezed, like push the nozzle straight back down and you'll get a nice little circle. Is that easier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How's it looking, guys? Looking good, hey? I don't think she wants to put another layer of black on. Mm. <laughs> Tiny little squeezes there, Christy. If it's doing like a, a run, you can clean it off on the puppy petal pad if you need to. A little tiny squeeze and then push it straight back down again. 
that's it. Little ones are harder, hey? This one's in the middle. Which one? This one. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Sometimes they get lopsided. You should see some of mine. My early ones, they some of the colours just sort of flowed right off the colour underneath. Just take your time. Get a little bit closer, I think, with the nozzle on those ones. Yeah, almost touch it. How are they looking? Yeah, I'm looking so cute. <clears throat> I'll find a cotton wool bud while you're doing that. You can touch up the, those little boo-boos. I should have one in here somewhere. with that one I don't know you don't know <laughs> let me see if we can fix it it's too big <laughs> yeah what happened to it so you might be able to just you can fix it up later again with you might be able to fix it up right. that's what you did coming here you got too big as yeah. you went along so go back to smaller there Squeeze too hard on those ones. Oh, barely okay. squeezing. Barely squeezing. We can we can possibly take that white off, that one and like Do wash it off. There's a hair there. Yeah. Get that off. Yeah, we could possibly take that off and uh, redo that one. That would be good. I think that's probably what we need to do. Little tiny blobs. Like a little spread. All right, let's just see if we can take that colour off. We'll put these people on hold for a minute. Play some music? No. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I just actually scooped that paint off. As I was scooping that one off, I touched that one, so I just scooped that one, and we've just sort of washed with a damp cloth around the outside. So she can go again there and put... A blob on the middle so you can do that if your mix underneath um, you know dry enough tiny bit more Christy just to cover the those edges yep that'll do beautiful and then you'd never even know that you did a boo-boo hey look at that yay hmm. that looks amazing now have you got any air bubbles um I did have a few that I've already popped oh out. you have already okay yeah that one's a little bit lopsided I wonder if we can yeah, use your skewer just to sort of straighten that a little bit. A little tiny bit more there. Yep. Cool. And then sort of smooth over the top as well a little bit. Beautiful. Alrighty. You happy with that? Pretty much. Yeah. Mm, pretty cute. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Alright, let's take everyone down for close up. <clears throat> Oh, she has a little last fiddle. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Little paw prints. Hang on, no, don't do that one. That one's just a tip. It's not a bubble. A little bubble on the side there. So these will dry nice and smooth even though might you know they might look a bit, little bit ripply at the moment because you know been popping bubbles and things but they should dry as smooth as possible and we may have to just touch up that little guy again so there you go let's look at it from the front here you should do a good job hey well done christy <laughs> <laughs> this angle here 
There we go. You can always remember walking your dogs along the Majimba Beach hey, mm -hmm. every time you look at this painting. Okay, guys, we are back. And Christy has decided that looking down from it, it's just a little bit too white, isn't it, Christy? Mm -hmm. So she's going to put some black on the bigger paw prints. Nice and dry now. It's only been two days, so um, yeah. The smaller dots are drying faster. So she's going to put black on the bigger ones and then see what it looks like and decide if she wants to put black on the little nail prints as well. But I thought I'd get you in at a different angle here. And I said to her, don't get... Oh, you can go a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> I said to her, don't get too close to the, um, the edges because, they, because they're round, you know, they're curves over so I said don't get too close to the edges otherwise the blobs will want to run off you like that angle <laughs> it's pretty cool you get a close-up of what she's doing that looks good she'll probably never come and visit me again now since I put her on video <laughs> <clears throat> She will. I think she's enjoying it, aren't you? Totally, yeah. <laughs> okay, that one's a little bit off to the side and a bit small. Go a little bit more in the middle. Mm. <clears throat> I don't like that for now. Yeah, for now. <laughs> it's probably a little bit smaller than the others, hey? I think that whole paw print's a little bit smaller. Yeah, some are bigger than others. Doesn't matter. A little natural look. Yeah. I'll try not to drop my camera into your blobs. Mm, please don't. I'll try not to. Now that one you were... It's a bit close to the edge. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit close to the edge on that one. It doesn't roll off. Well, what you can do is put some more on the, on the other side. Yeah. We'll see what happens to it. It starts oh, well, rolling I off. I've just made it too big now. <laughs> roll off all sides. Yeah, just take your time. We can take that one off and do it again because I think it's going to be a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> it's looking a little bit big there, so we might wipe him off. Two to go. Woohoo! Evie's calling you. <laughs> She's outside. We've locked her out. She's a cavoodle. How did you go? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm, we might have to redo you. Beautiful. That one may need a little bit more paint, that little one. What do you think? Oh, maybe it's just a bit smaller. All right, well, I'm going to put you on pause there, and I think we're going to take off that black blob and redo it. Okay, so we took that off. Gave it a bit of a wipe with the cloth. Just scraped it off, really, with um, a palette knife. And Christy's been popping some bubbles. We've dried that off. Off you go, Christy. Oh, didn't I wipe enough black off? <laughs> it's a little bit there. It's all right. I'll get to, well, um, I'll get to that view. Don't push it off or anything. I'll get the, um, little cotton bud and just wipe that bit of black off. I thought I was wiping enough off, but obviously not. <laughs> okay, that looks amazing. Now, have you decided to go again with the little nails? Um, I think I'll leave it as is. Just leave it like that? Yeah. Yep, yeah, I agree. It's just it's a little bit different, isn't it? Mm. So you've got three layers on the big ones and two on the little ones. So there we go, walking along the beach with the doggies look at that you happy with that yeah it's so good it's cute well done you'll have to give it a varnish of some kind a bit later on hey mm. okay all right well she's going to be packing up and heading off shortly after we've watched a movie um and then maybe one day when it's dry she'll send me a photo of it up on the wall and then i can show you guys hey all right, thanks for watching. Thanks for painting with me, Christy. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you, all guys, see you guys later. Bye for now.